Hey y'all, it's your girl Destiny, and I'm back with another hygiene video. As y'all can see by the title, it's my winter hygiene routine. With that further ado, let's get right into the video. So first, when you get in the shower, what you want to do is go ahead and let your body get wet by the hot water you're using. And then you want to go ahead and get your rag and get that wet and just wash your face first. Wash your face, wash your ears. And after that, you want to go ahead and get your bar of soap. I used um, the Dove Purely Pampering Coconut Milk. This is the one I'm using right now. And I go ahead and get that. And I go ahead and get my rag, which is already wet. And then I get the bar of soap and I just rub the rag and the soap together to the rag. It's real lathered with soap. After that, you want to start making up here, washing up here, and then making your way down to your underarms. And then you want to keep going, but do not wash your private parts. You want to just go straight to your legs and rub where your thighs and your calves are. And then after that, you want to rinse the rag off. After you're finished rinsing the rag off, that's when you want to go in with your body wash. And I have the Dove Morning. It's called Morning Blossom. And this is what it looks like. And you want to go ahead, apply, apply that on the rag. Then you want to do your same routine. Go on over it, go on over it, go on over it. Then after that, you want to make sure you rinse your body all the way off. And you want to either get your um, Summer's Eve or I like to use baby wash. I don't have my baby wash with me right now because I just ran out of it. But I usually get baby wash and when I do that... You're going to start from the top and you can go down again. This time, you're going to go with your legs. But after you finish washing your legs, you want to go through your private area. And you want to wash real good and make sure everything is nice and clean. You want to rinse your rag off and you want to go over your private areas again. After that, I'll go ahead and grab my exfoliating rag. And you can get this at Walmart, Target. I got this one from Target. And Dollar Tree. And you want to grab your body wash again. And you just want to put that on. And it does not take a lot because this rag already lathers up very, very well. So one squeeze and it's going to be lathered. All you have to do is rub it. After that, you want to start washing. And you want to wash harder. Not too hard because, I mean, it is kind of rough when you first buy it. Mine's just got a little softer. But you want to start rubbing. And you want to make sure you get all the dirt that you might not have got with your rag the first time when you were washing. You want to make sure you get around your neck area and get all the dirt off. Then you want to go down to your shoulders. And then you want to go ahead and go get up under your underarms. Make sure you get all the yucky deodorant you done had under there. Sweat, gooey stuff. And you want to scrub real good because you do not want to leave any residue behind. And you want to scrub over here real good. Then after that, you want to go to where your belly and stuff. And you want to make sure you scrub with your breast area very good. Then you want to go down where your legs and you want to scrub and get all that dead skin off. Especially if you have strawberry legs. Yeah, your girl got that. And then after that, you want to go ahead and get the rag. And usually what I do is I pull it out long. And when I get it like this, I, might have, I may put some more soap on it if the soap is already... Starting to wash off. Then after that, you want to get it and you want to pull it behind your back and you just want to scrub. Scrub your back very, very good because not all the time you're able to get to the back. So you want to make sure you get all the dirt off. So you want to keep scrubbing and you want to keep scrubbing. After that, you're going to um wash off very good and get at the shower. Now this is the time you want to go ahead and grab your towel and you want to dry off good. Do not leave any moisture Especially by your private parts because that could tend to get yeast infection right when you just put your panties on and you're not drying off good. Um, I have learned to dry off very well. You want to make sure you get all the residue soap off when before you get at the shower with your towel. Make sure you are just clean. Make sure ain't no soap left on your neck or anywhere. Make sure you get the soap all the way off. After that, you want to go ahead and dry off. So after I finish drying off. I'll go ahead and come in here and I'll go ahead and grab my Vaseline. Um, this is the Cocoa Radiant Vaseline. And I just go up on where my chest area is and where my stomach is and where my back is and definitely my feet. And that's just the places I do where I have really bad dry skin because y'all already know. Because your girl got eczema. <laughs> Real bad eczema. <laughs> 
and um after that I'll go ahead and go in with my um I this is the one I've been using but I mean you can use anyone but I've been using the aromatherapy peaceful peaceful lotion I've been using that and um it seems to work very good and it's tea tree and peppermint and like I said it's aromatherapy and I've been using it because I've been sick so the peppermint just opens me up and I'll just go ahead and use that to wrap my other body because I want to smell good of course and then I go on with my um the green yes I do wear deodorant at night um just a habit that I do um I go ahead and put my degree on then after that I usually go ahead and um get my coconut oil mist, which I have braids right now. This is what it looks like. And I'll go ahead and I'll just spray through my hair. Um, spray through my hair because sometimes, you know, by having braids, your hair gets dry. After that, of course, everybody knows, you got to put your bonnet on. So I'll go in and put my bonnet on. And then after I go in and get my pajamas and stuff on, I do either, when I get in the shower, I go in there. Brush my teeth, but this is the um toothpaste I use. I go ahead and brush my teeth, or after I get out of the shower and I go ahead and um brush my body stuff and then I put my clothes on. I'll go ahead and um. So I haven't really been in touch with y'all, but I know y'all heard about that sale the other day. Bathroom body works about the lotion, and I got some. So I'ma show y'all. What I got, um, I'm gonna show y'all what I got first because I this is the black cherry Merlot, and I had already got some because, um, I had been got this, this is what I got before, and I got the spray and I got the uh, the moisturizer lotion with it. And then when I got that, I also got this cactus blossom lotion. Oh. It smells very good. It's not something I would put on every day though. Um, and then at the actual sale, and I did also when I got those, I got this too. And I got the shower gel, but your girl already used it. Then when I went to the two dollar lotions, mm hmm. Well, you might as well say three dollars with the tax, but I got the warm vanilla sugar, and this is like an older scent. I mean. Bathroom body, oh my god, why did it keep happening? Uh, Bathroom body works, I had it for a while. But, and I just want to get some again because I haven't um, used it in a while. I'm about to have a headache with all these lotions in here. And then, of course, everybody loves this magic in the air, baby. It smells so good. Oh, like heaven. Then, um, I just got another. Cause I said I love this scent now, so it's um. No, I got another warm vanilla sugar, and then I got a thousand wishes, and this is an old scent too, but I haven't had it in a while. I had used my old ones, and um, of course I had to get me another magic in the air because I when I got these I was in Florida, my store where I live at does not they're out of them. They don't sell them anymore, I don't believe. So I went ahead and got what I could get. So I got two magic in the ears. And I got another thousand wishes. And then the last one is the pink velvet cupcake. And this is what it looks like. And it smells like red velvet, y'all. It smells very good. But that is all I have for my winter hygiene routine. Love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe.